That's right, the U.S. passing 83 million COVID cases. And as cases continue to rise, federal health officials are recommending about one third of the country put masks back on. The areas experiencing high community COVID levels are primarily in the Northeast and Midwest. But what does that mean for us? WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner live now at Uptown. Chloe, are, are we looking at a future with masks again? Hey Jane, while we are seeing a rise in cases and hospitalizations, we are not at the point where county officials would mandate masking again. We are still in the low community level here in the greater Charlotte area, but notably Wake County did move into the medium level earlier this week. Subvariants of Omicron are fueling another bump in COVID metrics. You know, we very clearly are seeing a pretty significant uptick of cases in the community. With that, we're seeing a modest increase in COVID hospitalizations. <laughs> Dr. Katie Passaretti with Atrium Health says it's still not at the level of the Omicron surge at the start of the year. COVID pneumonia. COVID pneumonia. Are they prone? In the Northeast, especially where community COVID levels are high, federal officials are urging mask wearing. There hasn't been a mask mandate in Mecklenburg County since the end of February. Regardless of whether, you know, there are masks recommendations that kind of go back into place. We're certainly entering the territory with increased cases where people need to, you know, think about their risk level and the risk level is certainly higher out and about in the community of being exposed to COVID, getting COVID than it was six weeks ago. The rise in cases here prompting Socrates Academy in Matthews to reinstate masking requirements in the classroom. We're about to have graduation parties, proms, everyone's going to the theater. So you, if you can mask in those situations all the better to protect yourself just because even even if you're not hospitalized it's still a pretty miserable uh, illness and even though we are in the low level here it's important to remember that cases reported are probably in underestimate because of how many people are using at-home tests live in uptown chloe leshner wcnc charlotte